Hi friends, welcome to this week's story time. This week is a little bit different with some of our students offering a Bible reading to start with and then some reviews of some books on forgiveness. As always, these books are available in my office for you to borrow. As we think about forgiveness of the people who are closest to us, people in our family, our friends, people at church, Jesus offers some wonderful words about how we're supposed to live. I hope that this week is a good week for you and that you are having a wonderful Lent. See you soon. Matthew 18, 15 through 22, the message. If a fellow believer hurts you, go and tell him. If you won't listen, take one or two others along so that the presence of witness will keep things honest and try again. If you still won't listen, tell the church. If you won't listen to the church, you will have to start over from scratch. Confront him with the needs of repentance. Take this most seriously. A yes on earth is a yes in heaven. A no, a no on earth is a no in heaven. I mean this. When two of you get together on anything at all on earth and make a prayer of it, my Father in heaven goes... And when two or three of you are together because of me, you will be sure that I'll be there. A story about forgiveness. At the point Peter got up the nerve to ask, Master, how many times do I forgive a brother or sister who hurts me? Seven? Jesus replied, seven? Hardly. Try 70 times. Time is seven. The name of this book is Lily's Purple Plastic Purse, and it's by Kevin Hankies. Like, it's about the, a mouse named Lily, and she liked to school a lot. But then the problem is that, like, one day at school, her teacher tries to take away some stuff that was distracting her stuff, people at school that she brought, and then really gets mad at them. Read the book to figure out what happens at the end. Hi, my name is Mira, and my name is Ella. This book is called You're Not My Best Friend Anymore by Charlotte Palmerantz. This book is about how two best friends get into a really big fight and what happens after. I really like this book because it shows how you can repair a friendship after a big fight, and we all sometimes get into big fights with people we care about. It also shows how a small thing can start a really big fight. So if you're interested in this book, Check out You're Not My Best Friend Anymore by Charlotte Palmerantz. This book is this book is about a boy that has an enemy and his and his dad makes um can make a pie for his enemy and something happens at the end that's really good for the enemy and the boy. And I think you would really like it. Do you worry about all the wars and conflicts in our world? Do you feel hopeless that there will be peace when so many people have been hurt physically and mentally? This book, Hiawatha and the Peacemaker by Rob B. Robertson is a story about two people who work to make peace among the five nations of the Iroquois people. This was very hard for Hiawatha to do because another nation had killed his wife and three daughters. At first, he didn't know if he could forgive them. To me, it would be very hard to forgive them. But Hiawatha knew he had to forgive them because it was the only way to peace. Maybe you could be like Hiawatha and practice forgiving things that seem really big. Or maybe you could be like the peacemaker and teach others about forgiveness. My name is William and I recommend this book because it will give you hope of forgiveness and peace among nations. The, 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 the story about Chicken Sunday is they have to buy the hat. The problem is they will break the eggs until they become innocent. Have you ever done something you shouldn't have done? Just because it looked really fun or you a boy or you wanted to get your mom for dad's attention. Then this book, No David, is for you. Maybe just like David, you felt sorry after you did it. And maybe just like David's mom or your, your parents forgave you by giving you a big hug. 
I'm Michael, and I recommend this book if you want to remember that your parents will forgive you. And remember, God forgives you just like our parents do. So run to Calvary and borrow this book. Do you know someone who asks their friends to give them too much? Or do you know someone who is always giving too much of themselves to others? Well then this book, The Giving Tree, is for you. In this book, the boy and the tree are best friends. The tree gives everything she has to make the boy happy, even when it hurts her. The tree forgives the boy when he forgets to visit her and when he takes her things. I think the tree should also forgive herself for hurting herself because she forgot you don't have to give everything to be a good friend. My name is Andrew, and I recommend this book. It will make you think about giving and forgiving in a whole new way.